Hello friends, in my previous tutorial, I have shown you how to fetch the data related to age and blood group from your health kit. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to write data back to the health kit and read data from the health kit. For that purpose, I have added another parameter named weight. Here in this demo, for the demo purpose, we are going to add weights in gram in the text box and it will be written in our health kit. And from the health kit, we are going to fetch the latest weight that has been updated. Um, we have added another button which will be updating our weight to the health kit. To perform this operation, we will be going to our view controller class which we have already created previously. We have to make the very first change in the authorized health kit method. We have already authorized our health kit to read the data about date of birth and blood type. But since we want to read another data which is of HK object type, but this time it's a quantitative type. The difference between HK quantitative type is that the quantitative type may vary with time, but the characteristic type is mostly a fixed value like the date of birth, the blood type. So we cannot change those values from our application. If you want to make any changes to such values, you have to write directly or you have to edit directly in your health app. So in this case, we are going to fetch the weight of the person. We are going to read the weight as well as we have to write the weight. So we will be adding this parameter in our read write set, which means that your application is going to read and write the body mark for your application. So here you are going to ask permission for reading and writing operation. So once the permission has been granted, then only you will be able to read write in your help. So moving ahead, I'll be showing you how to perform the write operation. So I have already written a method over here with the name write to the kit. Since I have to write the weight of the person, I'll be taking the weight from the text box which has been specified the weight should be in double so I'm going to convert it into the double format for writing any value you have to specify the sample type that which type of sample you have to write in your database or the health kit so this time we are going to write a body mark so depending upon your sample it can be step count it can be the height of the person it can be the body mask index Whatever is your type, you can specify it over here and based on that type, you need to provide a unit. I am going to write my values in grams so that automatically it gets converted into kilograms if you have, you have set kilogram in your health app. I have specified the quantity. So whatever the quantity is over here, it will be convert getting a unit for that quantity and then I am creating my own sample. For creating any sample, you have to specify the date that this sample has been valued from start date to the end date. So as of now, I am just specifying today, that is current date, which will be added as a start date and an end date for the given sample. And I am going to call a save method, save function on my health kit store, which will store this sample into the current health kit store. So this is all we have to do for storing our weight in the application or the health kit so once you run your application this time you again have to authorize your application because in the previous application the authorization was provided only for date of birth and blood type but since you have added two more variables to it so authorization is required once you click on authorization it will ask you to authorize the values you can select the values for weight and click on allow now you can provide a weight value over here. And click on update. So this will add a weight in your database. When you click on get details, still you are not able to get the weight value because you haven't fetched the weight value yet. We are going to write another method for fetching the weight value. So once you have written the weight function over here, on the click of the button update weight you are going to call your write write method so this will write your weight into the database 
sorry i forgot to add this line that you have to add right to kit in your right data method the ib action method which will be calling your right to kit method now i have created another method which will be reading my data similar to the write operation you have to create a sample hk quantity sample and in that hk quantity sample you are going to fetch the data so again i have created my hk sample type i have specified my sample is going to be of body mass for fetching any data from the health store you have to create a query so this query is on the samples you have to specify the sample type if you are going to create a very simple query you can directly specify the sample type as i have done over here i have just provided that my body mass is the sample type for which i have to fetch the data i don't want any predicate to be passed i don't want to set any limit for my application and i don't want to sort my application so once i have given this simplest query i will be getting the results in my results array what i am interested in is whatever is the last updated weight which has been given by the user should be displayed in my text box so once i select the last value the result will contain the weight of the last object and i am just executing it on a main queue because this operations happens in a background queue so i have to update my main, i have to update my text field on a main view and this result contains a value named quantity which will provide you the actual weight of the person so before running this application i have to call my read most recent sample in my get details method so here we go now when you run your application you can specify some weight you can update that weight in your application and when you click on get details method you will be getting the updated weight you can update the weight as many times as possible you will be getting the updated weight every time when you go to your health app you can see all the health records or all the measurements that you have added for your weight it will be available in your weight data when you click on show data it will show you all the health application data which has been added over here it will also show an average out of the weight that has been added so that's all for now hope you are able to understand how to perform a read write operation on a health kit we'll be coming up with another videos about health kit very soon thank you for watching